143 and I am hyped. <laughs> I am hyped. I am stoked. I am freaking everything right now. I am just on cloud freaking nine. I probably have one of my most favorite hauls right here in this video. I'll be honest with you. I feel like talking today. This video might take a while. So you know what? Um, if you got some time, you know, please check out this video. It's definitely one of my more favorite hauls, my personal favorite hauls. Uh, if you ain't got time, you know, by all means, you know, just uh, later on, maybe check your history and just uh, kind of rewatch it if you feel like it. But um, man, this might be a little long, but this is definitely one of my favorite hauls because there's a lot of stuff in here that, you know, it's either a personal grill of mine or a personal like book that I just been hunting and I just could not find or uh, it's just full of a lot of great stuff. Um, let me just start off real quick with this. Let's just get into it. Let's get into it. Check this out. So I won a uh, Soma Hobbies contest is like a spirit of giving and uh, he actually did this piece of art. This is not something he bought and he thought it was cool. Like he actually did this and it's actually phenomenal. Trust me, you cannot, I cannot express the detail that was put into this. And uh, I don't know how he does it. Like it is freaking phenomenal. Uh, but you can see that, you know, it's a random act of kindness is going on. And that was pretty much what the, his contest was kind of surrounding himself around, uh, what the contest surrounded itself around. And, um, like this is beautiful. Now, if Soma Hobbies, if you're watching, you're probably wondering what happened to your frame. Well, it broke on the way here. I guess it, as, it, as it got delivered, it broke. But um, it's all good, bro. I'll get you. I'll get a new frame. I just absolutely, absolutely love this thing. Like you did a phenomenal job. You are an exceptional artist with an eye for detail, and it is just phenomenal. All right, um, but yeah, thank you so much. Love it. All right, so um, okay, so there were a couple of things going on uh, this past weekend, last week. Uh, one of the things that happened is I couldn't make free comic book day, but the next day, which was Sunday, there was a um, toy and comic show happening here in Hawaii, and um, I only basically had two hours. I had nothing I was really looking for. I wasn't trying to track anything down. But uh, there was an artist there, Aaron Lopresti, and I, I gotta be straight up honest, never heard of the guy. So what usually, if there's like an artist, what I usually like to do is I like to check my collection and try to see if I already have some books for that artist so that maybe I can have them signed and then, you know, possibly get a CGC or whatever. As I was going through Aaron Lopresti's uh, work that he's done, I started to realize like, this guy needs to be talked about more. Like this guy has some crazy art up there. And I would say very similar to Adam Hughes. Like when I say it's very similar, it's almost very eerily similar to Adam Hughes. I swear they went to the same school, same class or something. Um, but this was a Wonder Woman 21 I actually found at the, um, at the show. And it was like a dollar. I picked it up because uh, I, I saw the uh, Aaron Lopresti. I, I saw this. I think it was on like a Google or something. But check this guy's work out here. Um, this is a Catwoman he's done. This is like a Joker. Um, this guy's work is just phenomenal. Look at that Poison Ivy. Like this guy's work is just phenomenal. And I have never heard of this guy's name. Um, I tried to search some covers for this guy. Um, he was a really cool guy, laid back, and um, he's just a really awesome dude, man. I just, just kind of just talked to him for a little while, and I was just, I, I couldn't believe, you know, me as a, as a guy who likes to chase comic covers and whatnot, that uh, I never really even heard of this guy, to be quite honest, but he has some phenomenal stuff, and uh, man, like this guy is such a great artist, but his name is uh, Aaron Lopresti. <laughs> Um, he's done work for Marvel. He's done work for DC. And, um, I don't know why we're not talking about this guy. Like I do not know, but this is one of the covers that he did. Wonder Woman 21 back in 2008. 
All right. Uh, so at that show, you know, might as well get into the books what I found at that show. Um, sorry, let me get set up over here real quickly. Here we go. All right. So just a really cool jock cover, Batman, um, Superman number 21. Uh, I've been actually searching this cover for a while. It doesn't go for that much, but it is a cover I've been looking for, and it's just such a great job cover. So I picked this one up. I think I got this for like, I don't know, a couple of bucks or so. Found this Adam Hughes, Catwoman number 65. Just a great uh, Catwoman cover. I think it was like two, three bucks, so I definitely had to go pick it up. Adam Hughes just does great stuff, man. I found this Francis Lino Yu. Uh, X23 number four. I've never had this one. Just thought it was a phenomenal cover. Had to pick it up. Francis Lino, you always does phenomenal work. Like he does really great stuff. He has some hot covers. I'm a huge X23 guy right now, as far as like covers go. And I uh, definitely had to pick this one up really, really quick. A couple of bucks. I think I paid five bucks. Death of Captain America. Um, I guess number 25. I remember seeing this book. I, I want to say this is Alex Ross. I could be wrong. I, I'm probably wrong on that. But um, it's definitely got an Alex Ross feel, at least to it. And uh, yeah, so I picked up this book, just Captain America 25. I found uh, this one, I think for like two or three bucks. This is Wolverine number 80. This is the first appearance of uh, X-23 as a... I guess that's a test tube. <laughs> so this is one of her first appearances. It's not in the best condition and I was kind of disappointed because this book really doesn't go for much. Like this is basically, you know, anywhere from three to $10 at the most. And um, you should be able to find these in a really good condition for about five, six bucks. And But I was in a rush and that was my fault. So this was sticking my PC or you know if it gains anything any gains any legs but it's in a really bad shape and uh but i picked it up anyway i mean it's whatever i think it was like two or three bucks i found this beautiful cat woman number one part of the new 52 line gilliam march man gilliam march always does a splendid splendid job i love this cover i remember um freddy's 562 showed me this on the side and i just absolutely fell in love with it um, it is such a phenomenal cover Phen like I said Gilliam March always does really good work and you know a lot of people have been chasing a lot of Gilliam March stuff down recently all right so probably a lot of you guys watched um, uh, what do you call it? Garden of the Galaxy number two well this is Fantastic Four number 11 first appearance of Aisha um, it didn't cost me that much. It really doesn't go for that much. I think on a really good day to go for 10, 12 bucks, but really just a nice, um, I'm one of these guys that's a sucker for buying books that may have something to do with a movie or a TV show, as long as I can get it on a cheap. Um, unless it's a really, uh, unless it's somebody that's really big and it has a huge part to do with like some type of movie or TV show, usually like the main, the main person or the main villain. But I just really wanted to pick this up. Found it in like a dollar box or something. So yeah, really nice copy actually. This one actually ended up being better than an X-23. Found this for two bucks, just picked it up just to pick it up. Uh, it wasn't a newsstand variant, but for two bucks, I'm not gonna let the first appearance of Angela go. Spawn number nine. Um, there's a little smudgy somewhere so it's probably about a two dollar book now <laughs> it's all good just wanted to pick myself up another copy so that was really cool to get that one um i found the incredible hog 354 i just really like the cover i just honestly i just thought it was just a fantastic cover and um you can just see the detail and the, just the awesomeness in the hulk and uh i think it's just one of those covers like simplicity at its best all right, so of course, you can't go to one of these shows without trying to pick up some semi-bigger books and stuff like that. So I had to pick some stuff up. So I got some slightly bigger books, very proud of. You could call them key issues. A lot of key books for some. I wouldn't go as far as grails yet, but I would definitely say really big key issue books. So for 40 bucks, I picked up 
DC Comics presents number 26, the first appearance of Teen Titans, uh, or at least the Teen Titans that we're the most familiar with. You got first appearance of Raven in here. You got the first appearance of Starfire and first appearance of Cyborg. And um, yeah, so it's a great book to have. New stand variant. Just could not believe I found this for 40 bucks. It's got some minor issues up here. It's got a couple of spine ticks. Other than that, just a fabulous book for 40 bucks. I was not going to let it go. The guy actually had it for 50. And I was all like, hey, can you do 40? <laughs> I didn't even buy anything else. I think I bought one more book and he's all like, yeah, I'll do 40. So fantastic book to own. This is my second copy. Great spec book. This is actually a really good spec book. And actually, they're already coming out with a Teen Titans TV show. So this book should be getting hot really, really, really soon. If you can find this at a really good price, I definitely recommend it. This is, it's, it's, it's kind of past the speculative part because they're already coming out with this show. But there's a lot of people that still don't know. And then once that TV show comes out, if they do a really great job, this book's going to be really, really, really hot. I mean, it, it deserves it. It's been priced too low for too long. All right. I found this Action Comics 835. This is the first appearance of Livewire in the um, DC continuity. And this one is just one of those books I spec on as far as like progression goes. And... Um, as far as progression goes, you know, you got Harley Quinn, you, you got um, Poison Ivy, and, you know, you got Catwoman. So, you know, if, if you follow the way that things are progressing, Livewire has to fit in somewhere somehow, you know what I mean? And um, both Marvel and DC are always trying to find new characters to put in, and um, I think this is just a great, great book to have. I think she's already been featured in Supergirl. Uh, I haven't been catch, catching up with Supergirl. I think that's something that I heard. I could be wrong. Take that with a grain of salt. But uh, I figure Livewire is just one of those progression characters that um, definitely just a great book to have. So Action Comics 835, first appearance of Livewire. I found a book I've been wanting actually for a little while, just a nice little key. Uh, so this is X-Men 256, really nice copy, beautiful copy of the uh, first, you, I guess you want to call it the Asian Psylocke or the uh, Ninja Psylocke, but this is actually her first appearance. Uh, forgot how much I got this one for, I got it for 10 bucks. Now for some people that think, oh that's a pretty cool price, that's not bad, that's pretty chill. Yeah, and it is, and it's in a fabulous condition. And just, you know, it's a really great condition book. And so 10 bucks is totally, totally, totally worth it in such a great, fabulous condition. But this is the main reason why I bought it. And this one is awesome. Bam. You got that Mark Jury insert. The low, the print runs on these Mark Jury inserts are so low. Uh, they were sent to military bases where they could buy these uh, Mark Jury jurors. And um, new stand variant again. I mean, just look at the condition on this thing. If there's anything wrong with it, it could definitely be taken care of with a press. But a Mark Jury, I mean, and it's a key book for 10 bucks. You cannot go wrong. New stand, Mark Jury, first appearance. It's got all the right. It's got all the right features for a hot book, man. And I only got it for 10 bucks. Um, all right, I also picked up this beautiful copy. Look at that. Look at that copy. Look at this thing. This is gorgeous. The colors are popping. I don't see any spine ticks. Again, another, another newsstand variant of uh, Marvel Team Up 95, first appearance of Mockingbird. Man, I've been, I've been kind of searching for this book for a while. Wanted to make sure I got a really good price. Um, luckily, I know a lot of guys at the con. Um, you know, it's Hawaii's kind of small, so after a while, you go to one, two, three of these things, and um, you know, you start you, know, you start finding your favorite vendors. You start uh, knowing people, and they start hooking you up because you constantly go back to them. So I found this Spider-Man uh, with the Mockingbird first appearance of Mockingbird Marvel Team Up '95. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous copy. Beautiful copy. Uh, just, just freaking love having it. So stoked. 
And I also found this. I actually wanted to get one of these back. I actually used this as a trade back in the day. There's like one spine tick right around here, but bam, new Teen Titans, number two, first appearance of Deathstroke. Just super, super happy to have this back in my collection, man. Like, and I got such a, such a great price on this thing. I just, I, just, I couldn't let it go. I just could not let it go. Such a huge key issue. Um, just love having this book back. For people that don't know, uh, a lot of people are saying that Deadpool was a swipe <laughs> off of Deathstroke, which you can totally see it. Like their names are almost the same. I think this guy's name is Slade Wilson versus Wade. <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy, but um, yeah, just so glad to have this this awesome. Like I said, I'm not going to put it as a grail, but definitely a hot key, a huge key book back in my collection man with all the teen titans and this group right here like really take a look at this group right here because that's pretty much what they're saying is going to be in this teen titans movie uh teen, Tit teen titans tv series and um man just so stoked so stoked to have this in my collection all right now um i got some books with some hot variants that i wanted and um so we'll just go through that this Jenny Friesen Spider Gwen is so gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Like, I mean, this thing is beautiful. And um, I've been wanting to pick up one of these for a, a long time now. And um, I'm just really, really glad that I finally picked it up. I'm gonna pause real quick. All right, guys, we're back. <laughs> Sorry, I felt like I was talking so much. I was like, man, I need something to drink. <laughs> you guys are probably getting tired of me um, talking, but you know what? Trust me, stay, stay to the end. I got some crip stuff. Um, all right. So yeah, this Jenny Friesen Spider Gwen uh, number one. <laughs> I've been wanting this book uh, since I saw it, <laughs> which is not that long. But as soon as I saw this, I didn't even know she did this cover. And uh, I just had to pick it up, man. This is such a great book. She's such a hot artist. And um, yeah, I mean, just take a look at the facial features on that. I mean, it's such a great book. I love this. Speaking of Jock, I found this um, Savage Dragon number 223. I guess it's like some kind of April Fool's book where they said that Jock and um, Snyder is going to work on Savage Dragon. And <laughs> yeah, so I I'm not too sure. I, I just remembered seeing it and just wanting it because... When Jock does like these face, like just these face things, like he does a fabulous job. Like uh, I really like Jock as an artist. He, he doesn't come out too often. I, I, I think, you know, Detective Comics, I think it was the 880, is basically the one that he's known for the best. But I really wanted to pick up the Savage Dragon, so I picked one up. I forgot how much I paid for it. I think uh, like 11 bucks, I think that included shipping. And I'm fine with that. I mean, sure, I could probably find it cheaper, but <clears throat> if you want it, you gotta go get it. Damn. All right. <laughs> All right. And then I've been wanting this book ever since I saw it, but I did not want to pay the ridiculous. I think people are asking like 60 bucks for this book at one point, and um, I didn't want to pay that at all. This is Royals number two. Just a gorgeous Addy Ground Off cover. This thing, it, to me, is just freaking sick, man. I'm so stoked to have this. Um, yeah, you got Black Bolt and Medusa. This thing is just beautiful. And if that uh, Inhumans thing really catches on, I, I guarantee this book's gonna be uh, very much sought after. And this thing is in a clean, clean condition. I just wanted this cover so bad. I wanted this more than, I think he did that Electra number two. I wanted this one actually more. The, they actually going for about the same. This is going to actually, you know what? I take that back. This is actually going a little bit cheaper, but uh, let me try to get it out of the way. But man, I just absolutely, absolutely love this cover. So I'm super stoked that I have this in my collection. All right, and then my creme de la creme of variants. Now, I'm gonna show you guys this variant and you're probably not gonna even know what this is, but you gotta trust me, this thing is so hard to find. I mean, this thing is so hard to find. It is almost like, I get, when I found it, 
you don't even know i was super excited I, I was more excited to find this next coming up variant than almost i would say almost than any of these books yeah actually this is the book i've been wanting to find more than any books i show you that i showed you or any books that i will show you like this is the book that i really really wanted abe sapien 31 the david mack variant <laughs> you guys don't even know how crazy it is that i have this in my possession like i've been wanting this book fucking forever i don't know if forever is really it but uh i've been searching for this thing high and low and man i just could not find this book i better stop playing around with that um okay so i'm a huge david mack fan and um so there was this hellboy bprb book that i got that um you know i was just so stoked to find it i couldn't find it and i found the website but uh so i was kind of just looking up david mack covers and just trying to see which else what i mean this guy does watercolor better than anybody this guy beats anybody in my personal book for watercolors and um like to find so i found this cover and i saw this cover and i was wondering if this was an actual cover if it was just something that he did well lo and behold this was an actual cover and i had to find this book and when I found it, I mean, I just got nuts. I called up like all the boys. Uh, I told Freddy's, Alex, the comic order. I told Master Explainer. I told David, uh, Seeking Nimring Comics. I'm like, you guys cannot believe what I just freaking found. And um, man, to have this Ape Sapien 31 variant. I, I, <laughs> I'm going to show you a couple of big books coming up and stuff like that. But uh, Or I've, I've shown you a couple of cool books. This is the book right here out of this whole haul that I am the most proudest to find. And it's only like a $15 book. And uh, man, it's so hard to find this thing. I fucking love it. Sorry for swearing, but I just love it. All right, if you guys watch Garden of the Galaxy, um, my boy Master Explainer told me, hey, you know who would probably be a good spec is Magus. So um, here we go. This is uh, Strange Tales 178. If you guys are into specs or something that might come up, this is uh, Strange Tales 178. This is the first appearance of Magus. I think there's also a pretty cool uh, warlock, warlock story in this whole thing. And um, yeah, I didn't pay too much. I, I didn't have to have like a really high grade copy. Uh, there's like some writing over here, 12274. Uh, but the colors are awesome. The spine is very, very. If any, I think maybe there's two ticks. Um, you know, there's some, there's some condition issues up there. But you know what? I mean, I just wanted to have it just as a spec play, just to kind of own it, just to keep it. And like I said, I'm one of those guys that when it comes to movies, I usually like to pick up stuff as long as it's cheap. And you can't beat these old school covers, man. I mean, look at Starlin just killed it on this thing. Like he just put so much detail so much color and so much passion behind this cover like this is just a really exceptional cover not granted it's not the variants that we kind of see these days but when it comes to old school like man this is some of the they got some of the best stuff as far as like cover collectors if you're a real huge one like you can't beat like this old school stuff this bronze age stuff is just really awesome but yeah first appearance of magus um strange tales 178 great book to own especially if you're one of those spec guys or you like to buy books with the um you know possible i don't know i don't know what i'm saying i <laughs> just lost train of thought all right um this might actually be a spoiler i don't think so but from my understanding there might have been something leaked uh, that has to do with the whole Superman storyline. If you're not into spoilers and you're reading Superman, I think you might want to not watch the rest of this one or skip over to the next comic book. But from what I understand, um, you know, there's basically something going on behind the whole scene with Superman. And one of the uh, speculations is that behind the whole thing is uh, Manchester Black. Well, this is the first appearance of Manchester Black. This is uh, Superman in Action Comics 775. 
The cool thing about this is that it's also a second print, little lower print, so it's super, super stoked to have that. Um, but yeah, so you know, again, I'm just one of those guys that just kind of likes to own stuff to just, it doesn't necessarily have to flip it. I just like to spec on things that might happen. So yeah, this is supposedly, supposedly a spoiler possibly, but this is the first appearance of Manchester Black, uh, second print, and I picked up like two of them and stuff like that. This book roughly goes for about 15 bucks. You can get it cheaper. You probably should be able to find it back issue bins. Um, but yeah, like again, if you're one of those guys, this is a great book to add, add to your collection. Um, and again, going back to the whole Rebirth storyline, there's a lot of stuff that has to do with possibly, 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 if you guys have been reading the whole storylines for Rebirth, a lot of stuff might have to do with Dr. Manhattan. Well, this is the first appearance of Dr. Manhattan. This is Amazing Heroes number 97. A uh, really great book to add to your collection. Um, there's a couple of spine ticks, but it's all good. I mean, I just bought it just because, again, I'm one of those guys that really like to own things that may be speculative. And uh, so just, and actually owning the first appearance of Dr. Manhattan is actually pretty cool. I really like the movie. And um, so, yeah, you know, if you're interested, this is actually his first appearance. Just super stoked to have this. All right, I also picked up a couple of slabs. Um, I picked up an Incredible Hulk 449. Um, this book, believe it or not, I will tell you how much it cost me. Now, originally, let me try to see if I can get that glare off. Sorry, guys. Now, originally, this book cost me $35. Now, this is actually an eight point. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I guess we experienced some technical difficulties. We're almost towards the end. All right, I, I don't know. I don't know where I left off. So let me just start all over. This is an 8.5 Incredible Hulk's 449 first appearance of Thunderbolts. Uh, I bought it slab CGC. And you're probably wondering why I would buy a CGC 8.5 Thunderbolts. Well, the reason I bought this is because of this bad boy right here. It's new stand variant. This thing is a bitch to find. The new stand variant is just crazy, crazy to find. I myself, this is just my personal spec. I feel like the Thunderbolts have a lot, a lot of leg. It's such a great team, especially the whole Deadpool Red Hulk version of it. With, I mean, it's such a phenomenal team. And um, I think they got a lot, a lot of legs. And um, I'm really cheering this book on on personally notice. I bought this thing for like, I think 35 bucks. Talked to the guy when it finally came in. Um, I was having some issues with the book. He gave it to me free. He said, don't worry about it, I'll credit it back. So I basically got this book free, a new stand variant. Um, granted, it's not the highest grade, but try to find this Hulk 449 in a new stand variant. You're gonna have a really, really hard time and I'm just super stoked not only is it a new stand not only is it the first appearance of a team that I feel has a lot of legs uh, but it's also you know already slabbed and stuff like that so new stand I mean geez it, it's just such a great book to have and um, if you can find a new stand especially at a really good price you shouldn't really spend any more than 15 to 20 bucks I just got lucky on this one but yeah, make sure you look for that new stand because man, it is so hard to find that and it's got so much, so much room. At least my personal thoughts on that. All right, and then I picked up my grail. One of my new personal grails and I am just beside myself. Like I actually own this book and uh, man, I just cannot express how happy I am to own Tuma Dracula number 10, the first appearance of Blade. I've been really, really, really seeking out, uh, I guess I guess this one you could go with Grail, minor Grail, I guess. Uh, but this one, I've been trying to seek out really just big key books and Grails that really no one's been talking about. And I've been trying to find them before it gets too hot or too crazy. 
And I thought this one was a really good book, is a really good investment. This Tomb of Dracula number 10. Now, I, this one is not a high grade at all, even though it might look really good, but the spine is beautiful. The book is actually really gorgeous. It's just there's some marble chipping on the top. But this is a blue label, 5.5. And um, that usually goes for, I would say, around 250, maybe 300, 275, I would say. Um, maybe 300 on a really good day. I picked up this book for $200 shipped. So that to me alone was just, it, it was such a great price. But I really was so happy to finally pick up just another one of my personal grails. Um, and, you know, really just trying to pick up these books that no one's been talking about. Uh, I just picked up the first Silver Surfer, first appearance of Galactus, and... Um, yeah, that Abe Sapien variant. Like these, <laughs> that one I'm really stoked about. You guys, I can't even stop. I got a Tomb of Dracula 10, 5.5 in front of my face and I can't stop talking about the Abe Sapien variant that I just got. All right, uh, I know this was a long video, but if you stuck it out, big mahalos to you. Huge, huge mahalos. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I, was ho I hope I was able to like show you some stuff that interests you. Um, other than that, man, just I just want to really personally say thank you to the community for all the support, all the aloha, all the love, and just, you know, just been watching and then making awesome comments. And um, I just really personally just want to say thank you for just being such a freaking badass community, man. And um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. All right. To the rest of the community, shoots and mahalos.